So that's how we quash it. So I think it has to be this one is it did not seem in a with the, the one that you guys have chosen. D. Yeah, they are similar, except that D uh, just picks uh, which form. So D is um, X power 4 minus 147 X power 3 minus 40 X squared minus 3 X plus 1 over 7x plus 2, 7x plus 1 squared, and then x squared plus 1 squared. So this, when breaking, that's why we just have to be careful. So first, we forget about the integral, but when breaking, it will be a over 7x plus 1 plus b over 7x plus 1 squared plus cx plus d over x squared plus 1 plus plus ex plus f over x squared plus 1 squared, like that. When you break it, we should have all those numbers, a, b, c, d, e, f. Okay, so it's it's is it something that you can do, you guys? I let you solve it though, you have to solve it here. It looks like you can do it. What do you think? What I'm teaching. What's it? <clears throat> I'm in class. I'm in class. What's it there? What one? Hello. Let's, let's chat you guys. Uh, <laughs> are we going to finish it here? Or maybe you can finish it on your own since I'm giving you this, this format. Uh, what? That quietness demands that we solve it. So, it will be. Yes, uh, let's just solve it. We solve it. Eh? Okay. Yes. yes let's solve it. <laughs> All right. So I want space. So we'll do this. We can remove the upper part since we are done with it. Hmm. Numbers are scary. That's why I wanted to do it. Okay, we'll do it, guys. Okay, so uh, first things first. So I'm going to have X4 on the left. I'm going to have 147x3 we're going to have 40x squared we're going to have this guy equal to a multiplied by 7x plus 1 multiplied by x multiplied by x squared uh, plus 1 squared 
like that plus B multiplied by x squared plus one squared and then plus cx plus d multiplied by seven x plus one squared multiplied by x squared plus one plus ex plus f multiplied by 7x plus 1 7x plus 1 squared multiplied by x squared plus 1 like that uh -huh. and so now the key job is to expand on the right since we can't zero zero numbers here, so we need to do the expansion on the right. Okay, so we expand on the right. Hey, so a. We are multiplying. This will be seven x plus one, and then we have x four plus two x squared plus one, and then b x four plus 2x squared plus 1, and then cx plus d, 49x squared plus 14x plus 1, multiplied by x squared plus 1, plus ex plus f, 49x squared, 14x plus 1, x squared plus 1. So this is going to be A. Seven x five plus. 14x3 plus 7x plus x4 plus 2x squared plus 1 plus b. Oh, okay. They will just say plus bx4 plus 2bx squared plus b plus cx plus d um, that's 49x4 plus 49x squared plus 14x3 plus 14x plus x squared 
plus one plus e x plus f and then forty nine x squared plus I mean forty nine x four plus forty nine x squared. plus 14x3 plus 14x plus x squared plus 1. Then now we have 7a x5 14a x3 plus a x four plus seven a plus two a x four plus a plus b x four plus two b x squared plus b plus forty nine c x5 at 49 cx3 plus 14 cx4 plus 14 cx squared plus cx3 plus CX plus 49 DX4 plus 49 DX squared plus 14 DX3 plus 14 DX plus DX squared plus D plus 49 EX5 plus 49 EX3 plus 14 EX4 plus EX3 plus EX plus 49 FX4 plus 49 FX squared plus 14 FX3 plus 14 fx plus fx squared plus f. <laughs> so now we connect the coefficients. So the coefficients of x5, we only have two, 7a plus 49c, we equate to zero because we don't have x power five on the left. Then we get the coefficient for x power four. So we have a here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In fact, X5, we have another one. So it's plus what nine eight.
Ah, caray, qué grande. So that's one, then now we go for these ones. So this will be A plus B uh, plus 14C plus 49B plus 14E plus 49E equal to one. You see, then we get for x3. For x3, we have 14a plus 49c plus c plus 14d plus 49e plus e. Plus, plus 14 F equal to negative 147. Then we get the squared ones. Mm, 2A. plus 14C plus 49D plus D How was I taking this one? This one falls in this category. 49F plus F equal to negative 40. Yeah, like that. Then you also get the coefficients for X. Where are they? 7A. Plus C plus fourteen D plus E plus fourteen F equal to minus three. Then get the constants. The constant we have A plus B plus D plus F equal to one. One, two, three, four, five. Six equations to solve. How many variables? A up to E, A up to E, F. Six variables from six equations. Yeah, they'll come out. That's that thing. You've seen the work that's there, it's quite, quite a lot. 
I think this is too much for a test. You can't bring such a such a long question. Unless you're just unlucky. But what's key here is to pick the concept. So the concept behind this is that if I can't zero out, so if you see, there was no number that you could make zero. Anyway, that it was there, like negative one over seven. I was going to make some things disappear there. Except it's the only one. Because the next one, you need to, you can't make x squared plus one zero. I can't make it zero. So you have those issues. That's why the expansion was better there. And then now you begin to use substitution there. You, you solve, maybe you solve A in terms of B, D, F. And then again, in another one, you make D the subject until you have two equations that you have two variables. Then you start finding equations. On, uh, Constants one by one. That's not a nice question. This it's too long. I didn't even think that they'll be this long. Huh? So I have a lot of issues then. Yeah. Anyway, but from this, I think you can finish it up from this one. If unless if they are difficult, cheesy, you communicate in the group. So that uh, we see what happens there. I think we just have to carry on tomorrow. We'll do five, six, seven, eight. Hope they're not too long as well. So tomorrow we can finish the rush. Maybe we'll finish it on on Wednesday or Thursday. Yeah. Then we'll do the revisions accordingly. Okay, so we end here for this one. Two bad questions like this. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, oh.